Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're doing a collaboration, a power-up collab. This is so much fun. I always love doing these. So I'm just going to show you some stuff uh, that, I, that I'm going to make today, and I'm going to be using power tools. Now this is my table saw. This is passed down from my father-in-law. He used to do a lot of woodworking, and when he passed, we ended up with a lot of his woodworking materials, and I have been using the heck out of them the past several years. Now I'm starting out my project. I have run that through the table saw just the very end so I could have a nice uh, fresh end to start with. These are scrap pieces of wood, so the ends are not finished very well. So I just gave it a little trim. And now I'm taking a uh, template that I made of a, this is going to be, um, I don't know if you guys have seen these, but it's going to be a little ladder that stands on the countertop that you can put, you can use as decor, you could actually use it as um, to hold your tea cloths or tea towels or your kitchen towels or whatever, and it just looks really cool. Now a lot of them are a ladder that hangs or that sits on the counter and leans up against the wall. This one I'm making with some feet on the back so that it will stand on its own. So you can put it anywhere. So if you don't have a wall that you can lean this up on, it will just stand up like a ladder without being uh, leaned on, up against anything. So I made a template of it and I cut it out and uh, just kind of got it the way I wanted it. And now I'm using that same template to make some legs for my ladder. So I'm just using my palm sander and um, just sanding it all down. It needed a really good sanding. Again, this is scrap wood. One side is finished or planed. It's run through the planer and it's, it has a nice sand on sanding on the top of it so that it's smooth. The other side is very rough. So I have to uh, sand it really well if I'm going to use it. So I'm going to make my rungs seven inches uh, apart. So I was just measuring there how far apart I wanted them. Figured out seven inches. So I'm just measuring out seven inches across this board here with my uh, measuring tape. And I'm going to go all the way across and put a little line on either side of it. And then I'm going to take a straight piece of wood and run a line so that I can just make sure that I'm going straight across on this uh, board when I cut it. It's very important to get the rungs all the right length because if not you'll have some that are longer than others and it just won't work very well. Now I ran that through to get a nice straight edge and I found out that my miter sled that I'm hanging on to with my other hand it was off a little bit. You can change the degrees on it to make a, a different cut. So if you turn that handle, it will give you a different degree of a cut and an angle. And I didn't want that. I wanted it straight. So I just went and adjusted it and then went right ahead and made it, uh, went through again so that it was straight. Now I'm using my fence, this big long metal piece on the side is a fence and I'm just running my board across that because I need a certain width which is uh, uh, just, an, just an inch I think it is is what I measured it out to be and uh, so I'm just running these through. Now because they're short they're getting stuck between the fence and the blade so the best thing to do in that case because it's going to shoot back at you is just shut your table saw off, let the blade completely stop, and then you can go ahead and take that piece of wood out and continue on. If it keeps getting stuck and trying to shoot back at you, uh, just keep stopping it. It's, it's much better to try and stop it than try and get something in there to move that wood. It'll just shoot back at you, or you could get your fingers caught in there, and that's not a good thing. So I'm just going to take my uh, sander and go over those little rungs for my ladder and make those as smooth as I possibly can. 
they're not perfect but I'll take the the bad spots that I can't get perfect and I'll put those right on the back of the ladder and you'll never know Now I'm going to measure down the sides of my ladder on the outsides and measure down 3 inches, 7 inches, and 11 inches. Those are going to be how far apart my rungs for my ladder are going to be. And I want it to come down about 3 inches from the top and uh, so that my, my tea towel or whatever I hang on it is going to hang nicely over the edge of that and you can still see the ladder part. That's also the other reason why I did seven inches wide. Most of your tea towels are more like four or five, so I wanted a little bit on either side so you could still see the ladder. So I just went ahead and marked those, those different measurements, and now I'm going to take some just finished nails, and I'm going down through till it just barely peeks through the other side of the ladder leg. And that way when I put the, the rungs on, it'll kind of stick in there and hold it and I'll know where they need to go. So this little rung here has a whole piece taken right out, right out of the back. It was like a little dowel and it just fell out. So it was probably a knot that went through and I just pulled it out. And I'm just going to face that towards the back so you won't be able to see it. That'll be fine. It's not going to harm it at all to have it that way. So then I just get all my rungs uh, put in where I want them and I'm using my fingers to measure how far in they are and if I like the, the way they're sitting and then once I get them situated the way I like them I just go ahead and pound those nails in. I am going to go back once it's put together and pull it apart. I know it sounds kind of funny but I'm going to pull it apart and glue the rungs so that they stay. It makes it so nice and sturdy. So once I get those rungs where I want them and all nailed in, I'm going to go ahead and tap that back out. It's just pine, so it's very soft wood, and it comes, comes in and out really easily, those nails. So I want to make sure that it's nice and sturdy, so I'm just taking some of my Gorilla wood glue, and I'm going on the edge of those rungs, and I'm going to put them back together. Now I can see where the holes are in uh, the ladder where I had them, so I'm just going to try and fit those in the best I can in the right places. I just wanted to do it like a dry fit they call it and make sure that it was put together the way that I wanted it before I went ahead and glued it down. So I took the other side off and did the same thing and now I'm taking some black paint and uh, antique wax and I'm going to brush that on here and then wipe it back. It shows some of the wood texture when I use the antique wax and it's just like a really dark stain. Now, I wanted to tell you about the Power Up Collab. This is a bunch of gals that get together and show you how to use power tools and using them to build different things. And this is put on by Sarah as Sarah can DIY it. The guest host is Marika at Marika Creations. And then Craft with Miriam, Connie's Creative Creations, and Up All Night are also part of this collaboration. I will leave links to all of their channels down in my description and also to the playlist of this collab that we are putting on. I know you'll enjoy it. So I made three of these ladders all exactly the same way. This one I'm going to stain with antique wax. I'm just going to use it as a stain and it's full strength so I'm taking it right out of the bottle, brushing it on and then I'm going to go ahead 
and wipe it back and it will leave a nice brown uh, stain on the wood that looks really nice and rich. For this next one I'm going to use some DIY paint. This is from Debbie's Design Diary and she has a DIY clay and chalk paint and I bought this little sample kit that comes with all these different colors here and I'm gonna go ahead and use the letterpress gray on this um, on this ladder it's a little bit of a darker gray but when you put it on it it's not very dark at all really um, but it's really nice paint I've never used it before that's why I got the sample and samples and because uh, I wanted to try it I see them all the time uh, Jamie Ray Vintage uses them and I watch Debbie's channel as well and she uses her own paints all the time and I've just always wanted to try it so it says DIY paint is velvety soft lusciously creamy and creates luxurious color uh, and dimension that you won't you'll have to see to believe it's eco-friendly and has no VOCs which it doesn't have any of that nasty uh, smell to it so that's really nice so all of the uh, ladders got a sanding and distressing on the edges the black and the stained one um, got left that way and then I just spray sealed them with some clear sealer this one I'm going to do a little bit different I'm going to take some antique wax on a little piece of cloth and I'm just going to rub it on all of the spots where I want it to look worn which is all the spots where I sanded it down so I'm just gonna I just rub it on and then I go right back and forth with it and kind of get it into the wood and just make it look worn distressed vintage and just old looking as possible now this clay based paint is really great because you can sand it and if you get too much on it you can go back with your sandpaper and just sand back the spots so I had some spots where I got it a little bit too thick with the antique wax and it just pulled it right up because it turned right to powder the next thing I'm going to do is take the color beadboard out of this uh, sample pack it's a, a very uh, it's a white color but it's got a little bit of a darkness to it too um, almost a, a light light gray but it's a beautiful color and I wanted to put this over the letterpress gray that I put on so I just dry brushed over the top of that I didn't fill it all the way in just a little dry brush around it to give it a little more of a distressed look Hope you enjoyed my power up collab video and the making of these really cute tea towel ladders I really love how they came out and the different colors with them so make sure you go down in the description and check out the channels that are participating in the power up collab and also the playlist thanks for watching have a great day